my visual aid out in advance because it might seem complicated if somebody's a visual learner. So you can have it in front of you and kind of look at it. Just as an aside. Okay, so my name is Tiffany Davis, and this evening I'm going to give you a crash course in how to order from Starbucks. Um, what you need to know is that the, any customizations you want from Starbucks, it just goes in order of the cup. So if you want decaf coffee, additional shots of espresso, different flavored syrups than what come in the drink that's on the menu, special milk, low fat, soy milk, um, or any customizations like whipped cream, no foam, extra foam, wet, dry, things like that, those are how you, that's how you get your drink to be your own special drink at Starbucks. If you just go and order from the box. So as it's outlined, um, I have it outlined as it is on the box. So if you want decaf or half-calf coffee, you just ask for it. Um, any deviation from the typical number of shots is what you would have them put in the shot box. For example, um, tall drinks by default come with two shots. Um, I'm sorry, grande drinks by default come with two shots. So if you want three shots or one shot, you just need to say so. So if you want a grande drink, as I've indicated on here, if you want a grande macchiato, it comes, a grande caramel macchiato comes with two shots. If you want more or less, you just tell the barista. So if you want a solo grande macchiato, which is what I like, because I don't really like the taste of Starbucks' espresso. If you want a solo, you would start off by saying, I would like a solo caramel macchiato or grande caramel macchiato. And solo will let them know one shot. Um, so. That's how the shots go. If you want syrup, same thing. The typical number of shots that come in a tall is three pumps. So anything other than that, you would just ask for a different number of pumps, more or less. Um, your milk, you indicate what kind of milk you want. Any customizations, they're listed right there. Um, they cannot take sweeteners from you from across the counter. So you can't come, they don't have Truvia. You can't come with Truvia and say, please add Truvia to my drink. They're not gonna take it from you, but any, sweeteners they have, they will give them to you, you just tell them. If you want your temperature hotter or colder, some people like it scalding hot so it can burn their esophagus. So <laughs> they want 170. Um, I prefer mine at kids temperature because I want to just dump it back. And kids temp is 130 degrees. Um, 140 degrees is a little bit less than what it normally is. I think they are steamed to 150 degrees. Um, the drinks are indicated on the side. Um, lattes have a small amount of foam. Cappuccinos have much more foam. If you decide that you want a cappuccino that's, that's wet, which is less foam, more liquid, you might as well get a latte because that's actually what you've asked for if you want a dry cappuccino or wet cappuccino. Um, the other drinks are listed. Any drink by default that's skinny on the menu has no whipped cream in it. So you don't need to say, I'd like a skinny iced caramel macchiato with no whipped cream. You're being redundant. It doesn't have whipped cream because it's a skinny drink. It has sugar-free syrups and no whipped cream. The sizes are indicated on the other panel. Um, the short is a kid's drink. A lot of Starbucks don't really serve short drinks, but if you ask for like a short hot chocolate or a kid's hot chocolate, not only is it gonna be eight ounces, but it's also gonna be colder than normal. It'll be like 130 degrees. Um, a tall is a small, they rhyme. Rhyme means large, but it's a medium at Starbucks. Venti's 20. It's, except for if you get a cold cup, any iced venti drink is 24 ounces. Um, Trenta, or, Trenta is only served as iced coffee or iced tea. Not, not iced lattes, not any frappuccino blended drink, anything like that, to um, give yourself a hyper attitude and an extra amount of energy if you get a Trenta. It's only gonna be iced coffee or iced tea. And then, if you have any other questions, just ask me. But if you look at the back, I've given you a little cup for you to mark it on, and you give it a go. And I've ended, I put a drink on the back for you to try out to mark up on mm. the side panel to see oh, if you cool. got it. Mm. Um, now, as I said on the last panel, this is your canvas when you're at Starbucks. You can make it look as plain or as abstract and ridiculous as you want. It just depends on how ridiculous you want to sound when they call you a drink. When they call my drink, they say a, so a decaf, solo, grande, soy, caramel macchiato, two pumps of hazelnut, whipped cream, light on the phone. So, depending on how much attention you want to be brought to you, that's, that's how ridiculous you make your drink at Starbucks. And just for the record, that is my friend Gary's arm. He works at Starbucks, Starbucks in New Orleans, um, in Center City. And his band, Royal Teeth, 
just got mm. signed to the same label as Fits in the Tank. There you go. Thank you.